Hello and welcome to this, our latest webcast for INMO members. We are recording this on the 11th of November. The first thing I want to talk to you about today is to update you in relation to the Crow Park Agreement. The health service implementation body under this agreement continues to meet and the latest uh, agreement, which is very important I believe for all of our members, is that it is now understood that in relation to issues such as roster changes, skill mix changes, uh, roles and functions, staffing levels, that work will have to be done at national level first before there can be any changes uh, rolled out at local level so that we have some norms if you like, some standards with regard to skill mix, staffing levels and so on. That work is about to commence shortly so in the interim members are again reminded that any proposals to change rosters, to change staffing levels, to alter skill mix should be referred back to the organisation and it will not be rolled out until we have done our work nationally and given guidelines to all of the four regions within the HSE and that's very important. The second thing is to update you that earlier this week the Nurses and Midwives Bill completed the committee stage in uh, uh, Dáil Éireann and it is due to go to the report stage next week. Uh, we understand that a number of the amendments that we sought from the Minister have been introduced in whole or in part uh, but other areas have not and we continue to examine uh, the revised bill uh, and we'll be looking for further amendments either at the report stage or when it then subsequently goes to the Shannon. So there's still more work to be done and would encourage members to look at our website, see the changes and to follow up with the local TDs and senators and push for the amendments that are still outstanding. The third area I want to talk about today is to again confirm uh, to all of our members that the recently announced voluntary early retirement scheme and the voluntary redundant schemes are not open to nurses and midwives. And the reason that we are not seeking that they should be made open to them is that it is absolutely a requirement that if somebody leaves under those schemes then that post is dro dropped and is gone and lost from the service. And the INMO has consistently argued that it's more nurses and midwives we want in order to deliver safe care in a proper environment and not less. And therefore we cannot support any schemes that will reduce the numbers uh, of nurses and midwives. Indeed we're now using the launch of these schemes uh, for clerical administrative and support staff as a reason to lift the recruitment moratorium that still overhangs nurses and midwives and we're demanding, we've had recent discussions with the Minister, that they, the embargo upon nursing and midwifery posts should be lifted immediately uh, so that we ensure safe care. And We will continue to work on that and constantly update. The moratorium is the main issue at the moment that bedevils uh, nurses and midwives and their workloads and that is our priority to have it lifted. Finally, we are calling upon all members to support the Irish Congress of Trade Unions uh, national demonstration which is scheduled for Saturday the 27th of November here in Dublin. More details will issue through our website, through your local representatives, through our local industrial relations officers. But in order to join with all uh, ordinary families, ordinary workers in this country, all members are asked to come to Dublin for 11 a.m on Saturday the 27th of November, mobilise and show the government that their current approach to solving our problems are flawed, will not address it and will turn the current recession into a deep, re, uh, deep depression and that we cannot agree with. So thank you uh, for your uh, continued membership. Please pay attention to our website, please go to meetings as they're convened and please support the organisation as we strive to protect you and protect the Public Health Service. Thank you.